Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Liz and this is Let's Get Lizical where we do everything card making. Today is day three of our holiday card series. And today we're gonna make some cards using some Mama Elephant products. I'm only gonna show one of the cards. Originally I was gonna do two in the same format, which is why you see the three different colored buffalo check patterns there. Um, but I decided to do a second card off screen with just like one single image. And you will see that at the end of the video, I'll post it with the photo along with this one at the very, very end. Um, but we're going to be doing the, I think they're called Holiday Huggers stamp set. I'll have everything linked in the description down below. But we're just going to be making a quick and simple card with some paper piecing, which will help us avoid having to color some things, which is fun. Um, I've don't know if I've ever done this technique before. I probably have, not very often because it involves fussy cutting. <laughs> um, but I thought it would be a good idea for this set just to like make the stockings out of some fun patterns and um, use up some of my little, little bits of paper scraps that I have left over from doing a card workshop for my um, nine to five work office. So I am just right now stamping the stockings on the white because I'm going to be using that as like my base and then I will fussy cut out the patterns to glue on top of that. Um, I did think while I was watching the replay of this that you could actually use the die to probably cut out just the pattern paper like not having to do the stamped lines. The die does cut fairly close to the images so it wouldn't be that much um, distorted and it would just be easy to like cut it you know twice once in the color that you wanted and then maybe once in a white so you could just like cut out the top area and then you could even like cut off the little like loop thing depending on what you were going to use it for maybe I'll try that again for a holiday card next year and see how that turns out but for now we're stamping the images as a template and for the white fur and then we're going to cut out all these pattern papers here i'm just using a marker to go around the edges so it looks a bit nicer i did try to cut as close to the outside edge as possible just because i didn't want to go too far in and i still wanted that line to be there and i'm just you know going around it very carefully, but it's like a super quick and simple image to cut out. So I don't mind it as much for something this small. And then I'm just going to end up, you know, I glue them, cut them, glue them, cut them in kind of like an assembly line format here. And then I'll use the dies to cut out the stocking altogether. I could have glued these on after I did that, but um, the paper that I'm using is actually fairly thin. I think I ordered it off of Tibu last year or the year before or something like that so it was just some like cheap pattern paper that I bought and now I'm going to be cutting them out and I will skip through that step which you'll see in a minute <laughs> you'll just see me tape all of the dies to it and then and then it goes to oh they're cut <laughs> um but I'm just moving on to the actual images now. I am going to be stamping all three of the critters that come in the set. There's a bunny, a cat, and a dog. And then each critter will go into its own like little stocking. And I will just probably play some Christmas music while you guys watch me color and come back once that's done. Mm -hmm.
Okay, now that that's done, I did forget to color the like fur on the hat, so I'm just doing that quickly now. And then you'll see me place the dies on them. And it's after I cut them out. This again, I bought it last year. I think I got the dies for it this year though, um, just because I wanted the areas for the different images to cut out. So the coordinating dies will cut out like the slit in the stocking the hands on the critters, there's I think um, a slit in the envelope so you can put them in the envelope and stuff like that. So I thought it was beneficial to have the dies for that just so I didn't have to try to cut that out with like an exacto knife and it's hard to go around like curves and stuff so it was much easier for me just to buy the dies for this set. And there they are all cut out and ready to go. So I'm just gonna insert my critters into the stockings that I had planned for them. It is a pretty like snug fit, but they do fit. Um, and then we'll just add like a dab of glue onto the bottom of the animals just so that they stay in place. I'm going to be making this as a landscape card and they're just kind of get mounted there on uh, like a strip. If you wanted to, you could like make like a mantle scene or something like that to go and they could just be like hanging off your fireplace or if you have images for fireplaces that would work but I'm just going to be grounding them because you all know I like my simple cards and these images will all get put onto some foam tape just to prop them up give them a bit of dimension and that's what I'm doing here I guess I didn't glue the legs I just used the double-sided foam tape to help secure the animal and the stocking together um, but you can just add a bit of glue to the back if you want as well. It would also help with the double sticky method, which I'll be doing anyway on the backs of these. Um, and I'm also using another set from Mama Elephant. I don't remember the name of it offhand, but again, will be linked in the description down below. And I'll be just um, gluing my images down first and then placing the sentiment on the card after just so that I know where to put it. Sometimes I wouldn't recommend doing it this way just in case you get ink on like your stamping block or your um, Stamping tool whatever you're using to stamp the images um, Because it could smudge onto the critters or the images that you've colored but um, I Mostly have ink cubes, so they're a bit smaller So they don't generally tend to get all over the place But if you are using full ink pads, it might be a little bit more of an issue so if you are doing it this way just make sure that you're like wiping the area around on your again block or like misty stamping tool so that it doesn't get all over the place and then right now i'm just cleaning off my stamps and putting them back i try to put things back as i go plus they were in my way <laughs> i probably could have put this on the other side of the misty and left those in there for now but i like to again clean as i go i do that when i'm cooking as well <laughs> Um, I'm going to be using some Lawn Fawn ink, and I think this was the Mermaid ink? No, this was Sage Leaf. Um, and it pretty much is like a toned down minty tealy green, so it kind of like went with the rest of the image, so that's why I decided to go with that. Um, and I did stamp it twice just to get a cleaner, more crisp sentiment. And then I'm just adding some of these clear embellishments on the background. And then that's pretty much our card for today. Again, quick and simple. You could definitely mass produce these if you wanted to. Um, and then just like color up a bunch of different critters. You could check your other sets and see if there are other images that would fit. The little agenda sets would be great for these as well. Another idea out there. <laughs> Something else for me to try next time. Uh, but yeah, so thanks again for joining me for today, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know what your thoughts are. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel because I'd love to have you here for much more Christmas content to come this year and next year and other fun cards in between. Uh, so until next time, thanks guys. Bye.